nine-year-old violin player, a 10-year-old national champion in Taekwondo. Those are some of the kids that we're going to be meeting today on Couple by in L.A. Happy Friday, everyone. Also today on the show, we're going to learn about the 100 years of a Philippine music legend. And we also have some music from the Filipino-American Symphony Orchestra. They're not just going to be playing for us today. We're also going to be meeting them. They have a concert on Saturday. Stick around for details for that. Also, stick around for the announcement of the winner of our Orange County Fair ticket giveaway. That's today on the show as well. My name is Janelle Sawyer, Kababayan in Los Angeles, and you are watching Kababayan LA, kung saan hindi naman po natin kinakalimutan na today is also the opening of the London Games, 2012 London Olympics. But you know what? There's a group of kids, wala man sila sa London, they are back here in Carson. They train hard every day, Monday to Saturday, two hours each day, and for what? Let's watch this. Southern California Toyota takes you around town with Cover Volume LA. Hey! Hey! The London Olympics have just begun, yet these kids are already training for the 2016 and even the 2020 Summer Games. It takes that long, and I'm actually realistically 2016 is actually very very close around the corner. We actually preparing more mainly for 2020. 2020. Yes. How long does it take to prepare somebody for the Olympics? To get on the level that I would like to get my kids on would have to be realistically, realistically have to start before the age of 10. It has mm -hmm. something to do with the with 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 the brain and and movements with right and left because our sport requires a lot of our left and right movements. So if you can't just be left-handed or right-handed. So by the age of 10, if you start after age of 10, it's, it's very difficult to get somebody onto that level. And Coach Salim would know. He won a gold medal in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. It is amazing. It is so different from, from anything else I've ever done before. And even competing at, at your own sport at the highest level, stepping into the Olympics is a whole new ball game. It's, it's, it's just, you can't even describe it. You really can't. Salim says this is the experience he wants the kids he is training to have, and he wants to pass on to them everything he knows. Yes, and that's, that's a little difficult part because they're so young and have school, but realistically they soon have to get out and, and go other side of the, of the world. You know, right now we're planning a trip to Mexico, which is very close to us. We're also planning a trip to go to, uh, to Europe to compete with the European kids so they can get exposed and, and realistically see how they are right now uh, compared to other kids in the world. But like a good coach, aside from training, Salim is also inspiring the kids to aspire for the Olympic experience. Gabriel Bonsol was six when he started taking Taekwondo, only to learn self-defense and ward off bullies in school. But after competing and winning, he has this to say now. I never got a trophy, but I got a lot of medals. Really? Tell us about your favorite medal. My favorite medal was gold. Mm hmm From where? Um, uh, a competition at, I think it was Texas. Mm hmm What is the best thing about Taekwondo? What do you like? What's your favorite thing about Um, winning. Ten-year-old Ashley Ogan started Taekwondo when she was four, only because her sister was in it. But after winning back-to-back -back gold medal in the national competition, she says she wants to win more. Is the goal to play in the Olympics? Yes. Why? Um, to make my parents happy and everybody else happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do you? What are you doing in order to reach that goal? I practice hard. Like many Taekwondo parents, Ashley's father, William, is fully supporting his daughter. At first, he only wanted for Ashley and her sister to learn self-defense. For me, the reason, my main reason why I want them to be on this is I don't have to worry when they're young, I mean older, you know, they're girls. I'm scared for them, be, for them to be bullied by, you know, by guys or some other girls. So I just want to help for them to know uh, a little bit of self-defense. But now, they have added to their goals. What it's about sure. winning? It must be a, a very exciting feeling. Yeah, it is very exciting. But we have, we have, we still have to, we have a goal, so. Mm -hmm. What is the goal? 
hopefully they, they get into the Olympics, you know, both her sister and her. For this, he's even put up a non-profit group to solicit funds to help these kids train for their goals, no matter the price, no matter how long. Fully aware of the many sacrifices they have to make as they check the long road to the future Olympic Games. If my kids are ready, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm going to support them 100%, whatever it takes for them. So I'll be there. Southern California Toyota takes your night's house with Cover by L.A. Alam natin na dito sa California, ang sasakyan ay hindi isang luho kung hindi pangangailangan. At kung hanap nyo ang matibay, malakas, maporma at ligtas na auto, narito na ang 2012 Toyota Camry. Sa porma at performance, siguradong isa sa anim na modelong pagpipilian ay sasakto sa pamumuhay nyo dito sa Amerika. L, LE, SE, XLE, Hybrid LE, at Hybrid XLE. Kung safety naman ang hanap nyo, may sampung airbag sa loob ng Toyota Camry. Meron din itong 5-star rating mula sa NHTSA, ito rin ang top safety pick ng IIHS, at ang bawat Camry ay may Toyota Star Safety System. Kung pinag-uusapan ng tibay, dapat niyong malaman na 90% ng mga nabentang Toyota Camry in the last 15 years ay tumatakbo pa rin sa daan hanggang ngayon. At sa tulong ng inyong paboritong Southern California Toyota dealership, sasakto sa budget niyo ang bagong Camry. Because your Toyota dealers make it easy.